We opened an antique store, but it had to be family friendly, where we could work and still have fun. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain or open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life. This is our adventure. This is Curiosity Inc. Hey everyone, so today I'm working on a project in the shop. I have a vintage, nearly 100 year old canoe that's been hanging upstairs here for a while and I've decided to try and do something a little bit different with it. So let me show you the canoe and uh, talk you through what my plan is. So in my shop, if we were to look up and keep looking up, there's a chandelier and above that hanging from the rafters is this old, it would have been a uh, canvas wrapped canoe. So it's been kind of hanging out upstairs there. It was, uh, I mean, you can see it more from upstairs. Uh, but my goal is, uh, now that I've got this great chandelier here, is to drop it down, flip it upside down, and make it into uh, housing for the chandelier. And we do get other canoes in the shop as well. This is a 1946 Peterborough canoe, and it's got the uh, awesome Martin Senior paint guy inside of it right now. Founded in 1892 in Ontario, Canada, the Peterborough Boat Works was known for making fine quality canoes. In fact, one was specially made for Queen Elizabeth in 1948. Aside from stunning canoes, the company also made a variety of other outboard and inboard boats, such as skiffs, runabouts, sailing boats, and speedboats. By 1961, cheaper canoes made of aluminum and fiberglass became much more popular, and the Peterborough Boatworks closed its doors for good. And now, vintage canoes such as this are highly prized by collectors and enthusiasts worldwide. This canoe is actually usable, so it's not one that you'd probably want to use for decor. You could actually take that one out to the lake. Beautiful, beautiful piece, and you can see why there's such an appeal to these because look at the amazing woodwork that's inside. They are just stunning these old canoes. So the one that I'm taking apart today and turning into a light, it's really far away from me being able to be put back on the lake. I mean, the canvas is off of it, uh, the wood is dry rotted. It's really just a decor piece. So I'm not gonna be ruining it in any way. It's just an interesting piece. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna head upstairs um, and uh, get that canoe down. So to do that, what I have to do is basically uh, drop the brackets down, flip the canoe over, um, draw the uh, chandelier up through the middle, and then uh, light it again. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of work today, but I'm going to get cracking and uh, start to do it. Now on to the second step of flipping the canoe. And sadly, after doing some measurements, I've decided I'm going to have to drop the canoe down by about a half a foot, which means I can't use the super cool chandelier I have, but I'll think of something. Okay, so I got the canoe flipped over and I now have it hung uh, upside down. What I had to do was basically um, stretch this board across, run the rope down, and uh, I'll show you what I use for a big washer on the other side, but I went through the middle slat so I didn't have to drill any holes. So um, yeah, that was a bit of a job to get that thing up there. So now that the canoe is more or less in place, I'm gonna have to try and find a way to get it uh, lit. So I've got a couple um, cage style lamps that I'm gonna install through the middle of it and, uh, and spread them out a bit, one on either side and make a lamp. So um, yeah, that's step number two. Let's see how it's gonna look. So from the underside, what I've done is I've attached a, in, uh, a bolt, an eyelet, um, through a washer. That's actually, um, the giant washer you see there was in fact the top off of an old coffee can. <laughs> Just kind of gives it an interesting look. Um, I have strung through some cage lights going through the center slat and I've wired them up. So there's one on either side there. The canoe is upside down. So let's ha turn it on and see how it looks. Okay, here goes nothing. Let's see how she looks. <laughs> we have light. So uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's a canoe chandelier. Uh, yeah, we're kind of liking it. So uh, let me give you a little overview of what it looks like and uh, show you how it turned out. So the area that I chose to put this uh, canoe chandelier was right over top of my cash desk right here. Um, I really wanted to get a little extra light on the counter and um, wanted to do something kind of cool. So as you can see, I had this old weathered canoe, flipped it upside down, and now the lights inside really show off that woodwork that's in there. So. Uh, I'm probably going to switch out these bulbs, which are more of a, a spot lamp for an Edison style bulb that'll be a little bit softer, but those are the bulbs I had in the store today. So yeah, pretty nifty. And if I stand back here, you can kind of get the overview of having that uh, canoe in place over top of the register. So this was just kind of a short video on taking something that was uh, really worn out and um, not of much use other than decor and turning it into something kind of cool. So I hope you think it's neat. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Canoe chandelier, why not? 
Uh, if you like our videos and like our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button that's up there somewhere. You can also check us out online at curiosityedmonton.ca, on Instagram at curiosityinkyeg, um, or we're on the Facebook as well. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.